Hello, my name is Cadet Howard, here at Detachment 158 at the University of South Florida. I will be informing you on how to correctly wear the short sleeve blues. Here with me is Cadet Hayes and Cadet Abuelito, and they will be our examples of how to correctly wear the uniform. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at how we should correctly wear the cover. As seen here with Cadet Abuelito, this is the correct way for wearing the cover. The cover is centered on his head and his two finger lengths from his eyebrow. These are ways you should never wear the cover. Though, if you have an insignia for your cover, it should be centered between the bottom of the flight cap and silver braid, as well as one and a half inches from the front of the cap. However, when you are not wearing the cover, it should be positioned in between the first and second belt loops with the front edge of the flight cap hanging down and the insignia should be visible. Next, we will take a look at how to wear the short sleeve blue portion of the uniform. As shown, the shirt needs to be ironed to give off that crisp look. As you will see with Cadet Hayes, females must also have their collar ironed as well. You should also make sure that you wear a white v-neck shirt underneath the short sleeve blue too. For males, the name tag is to be centered over the right pocket of the short sleeve blue. As for females, the name tag is to be worn on the right chest in between the second and third buttons. It may be a good idea if you use cardboard or some other object to place behind the name tag just to give off a more crisp look. As for the soft rings, you are to make sure that they are grounded, meaning they should be pulled all the way to the seam. Notice that there is a correct way that the soft rings should be worn. You want to make sure that the rings form a V towards the back. If you have decorations, make sure you are always wearing them correctly. For males, ribbons are to be centered on and flush on the top edge of the left breast pocket. For females, ribbons are to be centered on the left side of the blouse, parallel to the ground, and should be aligned with the bottom of the name tag. Ribbons must be worn in a specific order. They are to be in order with the list which shows all of the ribbons available for Air Force ROTC. If you have an Arnold Air Society pin, it should be worn one half inch above the nameplate. If you have a cord, it should be worn on the left shoulder of the uniform and should be grounded to the upper seam of the sleeve. Now moving on to the trousers portion of the uniform, both male and female cadets must make sure that their trousers are ironed, however they must make sure that they only have one break in them. If you have more than one break, you must take them to get hemmed in order to correctly meet regulations. The gig line is the alignment of the uniform shirt, belt buckle, and fly seam of the trousers. In order to have an outstanding gig line, you must make sure all of these factors align to make a straight line. For males, the belt must be worn on the right side of the gig line. And for females, the belt must be worn on the left side of the gig line. You must always make sure to align your belt buckle in order to maintain that perfect gig line. Low quarters must be black and shined at all times. While wearing low quarters, make sure the laces are always tucked in and that you are wearing black dress socks under them. Grooming is an important aspect in wearing the uniform. You want to make sure you maintain that professional look as a future officer. For males, the grooming standard for hair must be tapered in appearance and be no longer than one and a quarter inch in bulk as well as not touching the ears. Also, males are to not have any facial hair showing at any time. For female cadets, your hair must not exceed 3 inches in bulk and must not extend past the shirt collar at the back of the neck. When wearing headbands or pins, make sure to be conservative as close to the natural color of the hair as possible. Male cadets are not allowed to wear earrings, however, female cadets may. Thus, jewelry is allowed to be worn while in service dress uniform, but there are many limitations. Only a maximum amount of three rings are to be worn for both hands combined. Watches can also be worn, but either must be black, silver, gold, or brown. If wearing a backpack, it is important to make sure it is black or blue. And there you go!
I hope this video allowed you to gain a better understanding of the do's and don'ts while wearing the short sleeve blues. Go Bulls! What? You got- Yeah. No, you're tripping, dude. You are- She's tearing yes. than me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>